Hey everybody, welcome to Burke Bunch Renos. Today we're doing a little project. What are we doing? Uh, we are recovering the chairs, the seat part of the chairs. The stools, because the kids have destroyed them over the years. Okay, so here is one of the chairs that we are uh, recovering. The other ones are part of the dinette set we have in the kitchen. But uh, there's, you know, a few stains here and there in these ones. Yeah, it looks good. It looks yeah. really good. I don't think we have to recover. Oh, well. oh. Yeah. Oh. That part's not so good. So when the foam started poking through, we knew, okay, it's time. So this is one that we did. We just wanted to do one to start. I actually got this fabric really cheap. It was uh, at a fabric store, some leftover ends, and it's actually upholstery fabric. And enough to cover six chairs was only $15, including tax. Okay, let's take a look at the dinette set. Uh, so these are the chairs, and uh, as you can see, the fabric shows the stains a little bit more. These used to be as white as snow. <laughs> look at how dark they are back here. You know, from a distance, they probably look okay. But uh, yeah, when you look at them, ike, ike, ike. <laughs> What's the hardest part? Removing the staples. Look at my injury from it. Hurt. Surgery. Yeah. Almost lost a thumb. First step, we're going to remove all the seats and bring them downstairs for the destapling. Here's a tip. How many times have you taken apart something and, you know, got back to it a week later, tried to put it back together, but you lost your screws? Take your screws, put them in a small sealable container and keep that container near where your project is, such as, you know, for us here in the kitchen. That's a tip. Now we brought all the stool seats downstairs. To get the staples out, here's a trick I use. Nice, sharp chisel get it under the staple, twist it back and forth, it creates a loop in the staple. Then you can use your needle nose pliers just to pry it out. Okay, that's it. Now, if you want to replace the cushions, it's a little bit more complicated. We, however, are going to reuse them because eh, they're actually not in too bad shape. One thing you'll probably want to do is save the backing that covered up all the staples because that will make it much more comfortable when you're pulling back in your stool and things like that. You won't feel the staples on the edges. Now the, the final step, we are putting the cloth onto the stools. The mom is an expert. Yeah. I took the old cloth and we're gonna put it right back on. Ew. I know, eh? Maybe. I think this was Logan's chair. Uh, okay, so what I did is I took the old fabric and I put it on the new fabric as a template to get the right size and shape. And then I traced it and cut it and put a B for the back. All right, now one thing I noticed about the template is that it's actually, this is the tightest spot. I wanna make sure that I have the foam centered on the tightest spot. So once I have that, and I have my handy dandy staple gun. Come on, I just noticed there's a staple left in here. Oops. Dad was, was slacking off, the dad was slacking. This must have been the one you did. I have like a surgeon here. Removing the, or maybe a dentist removing the tooth. It's not gonna hurt. Or a vet removing porcupine quills. <laughs> All right. So now we are ready to staple. And I'm going to start by stapling all the corners. All right, now that the corners are tagged in place, just take a look, make sure that everything looks right. And then... Go staple crazy. Yep. Magic is complete. 
The seat it has been recovered with the new fabric. We just have to attach it to the chair. And it looks super cool. Nice tight corners. Well, yeah. I'm no professional. The mama's done all of the reupholstering. Time to screw it back on, and we're done. And there you go. You can see what it looked like before and what it looks like now. Just like a brand new stool. That is it, we are done. And the new stool looks fabulous. Actually, the new six stools. We hope you've enjoyed this Burke Bunch Renos episode. Make sure you check out other videos on our main channel, Burke Bunch TV. Stay tuned, there's always great videos on the way. Make sure you subscribe. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and click the little bell. It'll you know tell you when more Burke Bunch TV's on the way. All right, we'll see you next time.